All right, here, well, best S versus Sharp. Sharp of the Sheik. It's been quite the minute since I've seen Sharp go Sheik. But honestly, I respect it. You want a character that's got great tools, great speed, great mobility, gr excellent follow-ups, confirms, you name it. Especially against a character like Plant where you have to consistently oppress. You don't want to give Plant spacing or the time of day to set up for the things Plant likes. Why not go with a character like Sheep where you can just uh, basically oppress your opponent with excellent frame data and great confirms. Alright, Sharp, look at this control here, 126, forward tilt to up air, oh. another oh. excellent, <laughs> wow, nice. he gets it back on the platform, Sharp yep. taking stock one, what a play. Yeah, that was a really, really sick combo from Sharp. Kind of surprised to see Bestness playing Piranha Plant here against Sharp, of all people, but see how long it lasts. <laughs> he definitely played uh, Piranha Plant earlier, too. Oh, nice. Looking for the landing here on Best Ness. May not, may not. Oh, jab reset. Ooh, jab mm, what a play. Doesn't get a full conversion off of that, but it's still, look at the damage he's throwing to Best Ness here. 110. And shove with the stock lead as well. Yeah, taking time to charge needles. Get away from the Patui. Watch the get up. Fortal. Wait for the reaction? That was good on Sharp. Yeah. Whoa. That was oh, and then Wait for that reaction. That was so good. He didn't and get the kill. buff too, because the knockback has definitely got him big. Oh, wow! Damn, destruction. Yo, Sharp Sheik is so good. <laughs> so well, it, clean. It, it makes you wonder, why does he go any other character? Sometimes I do think that. But then I think about, a lot, I think that about all of his characters. Same. He's literally so good with so many characters. Like, the characters he's good with, he can just solo main those characters. <laughs> and do really well. But that's probably what makes him entertaining to watch. He can use a lot of characters. Right now though, Best Ness is just, he's really struggling. I don't know, I just feel like Brompa just doesn't really have the frame data to contest Sheik a lot of times. Yeah, I think that's literally Sharp's understanding of this matchup here is like, Sheik has some of the best, even in Smash 4, like had some of the best frame data in the game. And she still does have really good frame data, even in Ultimate. So why not just be a character with just pure frame data in general? Because Piranha Plant is very strong, but it's still very slow in general. So she yeah. just takes the oppression all the way to the skies. Funny thing about that, I think Sheik's down tilt crouch makes it that, so that Piranha Plant's up smash will never hit. Yeah. The, it's I'm such pretty a good, sure that yeah, it's a low yeah. <laughs> It'll it's... only hit people that are like tall on the ground. The low profile is that good. Ready? Okay, staying plant. Surprise! Surprise to see this. May Best Ness know something I don't. Like, that first match was all data, and he's just gonna, like, go crazy with playing this game. <laughs> Honestly, it's good to gather data on your first match. A lot of players can... A lot, a, lot of, a lot of players can actually, like, do that. You know, just be able to grab data, see how your opponent reacts, and then use that data in the next match. It's, data like that is important. But we'll see, man. Best Ness here... So far, pretty good for sensor between the two. Wow, he was able to cancel his jab and parry? That was actually interesting. Oh, up smash. Probably up smash is so strong. I was gonna say, sir, I was looking at like that data analysis definitely paying off right now. Data harvest, dude. Oh, damn. Yo, best nest. He hit him out of the bouncing fish, too, so he actually could have potentially got the kill. Oh, that was scary. Oh my god, that almost worked. Do you think Prana Plants up smash kills she got 68%? I bet it does. <laughs> I 
Dang, best plant in the building. Definitely giving Sharp a run for his money all of a sudden. What a, what, yeah, what a good use of anti-air tier. That upper has a I do know nice they armor. actually, yeah, they, they buffed uh, Prowl Plant's up air too. I think it's like much stronger now. So yeah. he can actually kill it pretty reliably. What a low recovery. So going from getting almost three stocked last game against Sharp Sheik to being up by a huge margin this game. Definitely thought Bestness was trolling with this Piranha Plant. But <laughs> he's serious. You, man, you don't think he was trolling. You like to call it sandbagging. I know you do. Down smash drag down from the upper though. Well, yeah, I guess. I don't know. He definitely <laughs> did like five up smashes in a row and like none of them hit. Uh, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell if this was like a big match or what, but Destiny is putting in work right here. Sharp really struggling to get this stock right now. If you miss your kill confirms with Sheik and your percent windows, it actually is pretty difficult to kill this character. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, that's the thing about Sheik too, she struggles to kill, but Down Smash is one of the moves that actually got buffed in terms of knockback. So good on Sharp to actually consistently use it, but also we saw in the first game, he used Drag Down Up Air to Down Smash. Knowing that the knockback has been buffed. Alright, well Sharp has such a deficit here against Bestness, having to recover here, Bestness lose. Epitubia hasn't come back yet. Oh, second bouncing fish. Is in there? A beat? Oh, almost. Damn, I'm surprised he lived that first bouncing fish in the Ooh. last one. But <laughs> let me just landing. chomp him up. He actually ate Sheik's legs. Damn, up smash was crazy. So strong. Oh, that up smash is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's got a lot of knockback. It is ridiculous. Like you're right, it's a chomp. Dang, best plant, dude. I thought he was. I thought he was giving up. Like I thought he was like, yeah, you know, I made it far. You know, losers finals. I know. I just. I know. I just went Ness versus Vin and won. But I'm ready to just you know go plant, have some fun. Let Sharp get to Grand Finals, because he's my he's my friend. Oh my god. But uh but Nah man, nah man, look look, real friends don't give free matches, bro. Sometimes you gotta you gotta tell your friend, like, I know you can do better, bro. Come on, get to this plant. Show me what you got. Real friends don't give free don't give uh free W's, bro. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, the double counter pick here in terms of characters. You're sharp on the wolf. Best Ness on the Ness. Wait, wait. So did Best Ness preemptively switch to Ness? Right. I think, he I had think, to, I think, right? I, I think he had to. Yeah, I think he, I think yeah, he yeah. made the smart play. He's like, wait a minute. Plant versus wolf. Hey, I don't, oh, hold on. Sharp on the sheik? Never mind. Okay, sharp sticking with sheik here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So best nest, like, all right, I got that game with plant, got that game with plant, did what I needed to do, you know, gave the plant main some hope. Now it's it's off, it's off the nest now. <laughs> it's back to business. Business as usual for best nest indeed here, going up against sharp. Now I think about it, man, I haven't really seen uh, Sheik versus Ness in Ultimate that much. It was Honestly, a really good. It was a really good matchup for Sheik in four, but I haven't seen it in Ultimate at all. Yeah, things have changed here, of course, coming to Ultimate. Definitely, like you said, it was a really good matchup for Sheik. We'll see how it treats it in Ultimate with two strong representatives of the character, honestly. Yeah. A lot of times I consider Sharp to be like one of the best Sheik players in general. Which is just crazy because he doesn't even like only use Sheik. Yeah. In these days, like, he's not using Sheik that often either. Almost. If he got the oh. needle, the needle uh, snipe there, I think it was guaranteed bouncing fish. Up there? Up there? Yeah. Yeah, good DI though from Sharp. Nice. Trying to get an out of shield punish there. No, remember, grabs are a lot slower out of shield than ultimate. Man. I wish Sharp 
did the fall through platform up air to up smash. Oh, good use of needles. He, he stalls the landing, but also able to come back. He would have gotten so many kills in the, as Sheik so far on this stage. I keep thinking that he's gonna do it because like he has like the perfect setup for it, but he just doesn't do it. I'm spoiled Ooh. by Void. Almost gets oh. the up smash, yeah. Nice so carry. Four throw? Oh he did in on that. I'm surprised. Best Ness did anyway. Nice! Chance for an edge guard here? Oh, good drift from Best Ness. Mm -hmm. And get the up arrow? Yeah, oh. forward air from, from Sharp. He wanted to no go in there, but he knows I think forward air has to be the better call. Wow, what a recovery from Bestness. So good. If Sharp like overextended a little bit trying to edge guard that, he would have gotten a really terrible trade for him. Mm. But the sick vanish. up B. Yeah, great vantage there. On the edge guard. Forward air string. Oh, it got to the platform. Unfortunate for Sharp. Oh, double back air here and stage control is sharp. Looking to get an out of shield punish, missing the back air here, seeing how best Ness is moving. Forward air, bouncing fish, nice play. Oh, setting up for the oh. back air, but not enough best Ness. Still fighting off the stage here. You can never yeah, put it past best Ness on that. Best Ness will. It seems like he will always fight back when he's in an edge guard position against Sheik. Like, yeah, he knows if I don't press a button here, if I don't like hit Sheik away, I'm just going to get edge guarded. So yeah, it's working he really well for him. And it's good too because Ness's aerials, just in the air in general, have a last pretty long but also pretty big. So good to just try to contest she can fight your way back here. But Sharp with the bouncing fish off the stage. Needles bouncing fish and they'll yep, do it here. Guaranteed. Once he forced Best Ness into that angle to recover, he was just guaranteed dead. That was really good stuff for Sharp. Oof, big up smash out of shield. And also some really good pressure from Sharp, but a bestness still uh, fighting back super hard. Oh, that was so tricky to get off the ledge with that side magnet. Still able to get the back air out, but yeah, Sharp is barely missing these uh, punishes. Oh, that was actually a really good air dodge to get around Ness. Missed the tech, but no jab block there. Oh, great grab out of shield and the Ooh, trade. Good trade. Okay, still has to worry about this edge guard situation though. Yeah, that's also really good against Ness's recovery, that uh, burst grenade. What a recovery from Bestness. So oh, nice. smart. Okay. Punishes the cross there with the back air. Sharp has all the tools yeah. to win this here. Bestness though, calling oh. up the aerial. Tech yeah, shake? Play. Oh, Ooh. that was so good. That was so good. What the heck? <laughs> Who does that? He's, that? That was a super good tech chase, dude. What a punish. I'm sorry. I'm I'm still at loss for words. That yeah, really Rage, Rage definitely made that a little bit more effective to kill like that, but still the the tech chase on the platform with like the air dash down, very low lag. That was really nice. He also had that super smart recovery at the end too. Like basically he he angled the PK Thunder in a way that Sharp couldn't like approach him because he would get hit by it. But then he still had enough time to like launch himself towards the stage. Like that was like that was one of the best nest recoveries I ever seen in my life. <laughs> that was so smart.
Yeah, he could have done that, but it would be so hard to do that because of the angle that uh, Best Ness was using the PK Thunder. Definitely possible, but it, that would be so hard. All right, back on Pokemon Stadium 2. Sharp was looking really good in that match, but that yeah. best Ness just has the, the clutch factor. So, yeah, he's going to run it right back. See if he can, he can be the one that's clutch this time. Already oh, huge. Triple back air, yeah, man. yeah. 71% untouched. Oh, no jump anymore. Oh, Sharp Damn! With the JV. The what zero to death. That was actually a perfect edge guard from Sharp, dude. Oh, my God. He's telling best don't Ness, sleep man. on best I, Ness. Yeah, don't sleep on the best Ness. Can on. easily kill Sheik <laughs> at a, such an early percent. If I'm not mistaken, he beat Void at an offline invitational. So this he did, be, huh? Forgot yeah, about yeah, that. He, yeah, yeah, he did. So this won't be the first time best Ness has faced a Sheik as strong as this one. So we'll see, man. But Sharp starts off with a really strong, pretty much zero to death. It was zero to death. He didn't get touched at all on <laughs> the first stock. <laughs> Perfect edge guard. Barely outside of the window for a fair bouncing fish to be true. But if he did get that bouncing fish to connect, uh, possibly could have been another stock off stage. Oh, he really wants these bouncing fishes off stage just because he knows if he can force Ness to use that double jump. It's another easy way to get an edge guard. Uh, Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, see, okay, so he's not doing the, like, extra flashy, like, even more complicated drop through up there from the platform. He's, he'll just get the kill with the easy down smash. Honestly, so, at this point, very yeah, good. just go for it. <laughs> yeah. It still works. I'm just used to seeing Void do that all the time, but it's Void. He'll always do the most extra stuff. <laughs> I'm sure Sharp knows how to do it too. He's just less likely to mess it up online with Sheik, I think. If you just go for a down smash. Oh. Nice on the landing. Some really good good call out yeah. the shield. He's, he's getting some super good resets on best Ness. Like he's just baiting out his landing over and over. Oh, trying to contest with Nair, oh. but he barely missed it. <laughs> Great down there, get through the PK Thunder. Almost getting the back air snipe too. Oh, okay, business. No snipe. Sharp gets over yeah. everything, but the down smash, catching that recovery. Yeah, teleport Can best will bring this back grab the ledge. Can bestness bring this back again? Well, F tilt up me. there? No, you cannot. <laughs> You're gone. I don't know. I'm always, I'm always, uh, in the back of my head, I'm always thinking bestness can bring it back no matter how far behind he is. I mean, last last game, man. <laughs> Dallas and stuff from Best Nas able to take it over Sharp and here Sharp putting up game five on the board as a possibility now coming to reality. <laughs> Think the best girl in uh, KOF is Angel. That's, that's that's my KOF best. There's a lot to pick though. I'm playing Giovanna regardless in, in Strive though. She looks really cool. All right, game five between these two. Last one gets the anyway. grand finals here. Best Ness fighting his way through loser Sharp, putting Sheik on the map tonight, man. We haven't seen this character from Sharp in quite a minute, but it's coming out really hot. From a zero to death the last time, and immediately starting out with great back airs from the last game here. Back throw for Best Ness because he wants that stage control. Yep, that's oh. enough to stop the recovery there because it doesn't auto snap the ledge. There's a few frames you can punish those in uh, those teleports. Really good back air placement from Sharp. Oh, the tech chase from Best Ness? Yeah. Oh my. Okay, okay. Dude. Not enough though. Oh, oh no! Oh, You're... That's the third. 
You're crazy. You are a crazy person. I'm going for the big wall jump uh, before they're not able to connect. But man, what a what a turn off for death. Man. He was rocked. He got one jab block into an insane throw. Cool. He just continued to fill up the momentum as well. He's racking up all his percent. Yeah, the aggressiveness from Vestness is uh, oh, really no. cool. Oh, sharp. Not it's like sharp this. The tech. Oh, no. He's going to have to really dig deep for this one. Vestness is playing on fire right now. Neo Bouncy Fish from almost the entire screen. Oh, Nine they're up. off the stage? Barely oh, and there, yeah. tippy toes of the back air. I was going to say, that's crazy. Hard. The deep forward, it was not enough. He had to go all the way from the back here. Sharp. Last stock here. See what he can do up against Best Ness. Definitely not impossible. But it won't be easy for Sharp. That's for sure. Man, these aerials are so safe. It's the way that Ness is able to just drift back and forth and cross up so well. Nice. Strong start here off oh. here for Sharp. Yeah, he He's wanted to get that the bouncing line. fish. He wanted to get that bouncing fish, or that back air after the bouncing fish. It hit him out of his jump, but Bestness just didn't give it to him. Sharp looking for a way. Excellent grab out of shield here. That dash attack is unsafe on shield, so it's able to be punished by a grab. Ooh, that drag down up air into the nair. Oh. Barely, like barely throw? avoids that back throw. Oof, reads the DI. Yeah. That's, Bestness actually has DI'd in on every forward throw. Not that one, though. <laughs> the forward throw? Or he's that one. Yeah, good patience. Oh, good patience. he caught the air dodge, but he's still alive. Oh, untackable. Sharp goes as deep as he can to get this stock. Can he bring this back? He's almost dead to most things that Ness can do. And uh, Sheik... If we also have a like offstage play, doesn't really get early kills. Let's see if it's possible for Sharp. Almost gets up smashed so close. Yeah, Sharp oh, at 130. He's looking for an so opportunity here. He's gotta be careful. Oh! Barely avoid the up tilt! Sharp's playing for his life right now. Almost like he can't afford to get hit by anything. Pretty dude at this point at this high percent, Ness Ness can kill with a lot of raw hits. Like so. Barely. Yeah, he has to go for the extra level cover. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That that yo-yo covers so much at the ledge, dude. That was so hard to come back against. One of the hardest comebacks you can ever make is Sheik.